Welcome to Report Extensions. It was supposed to be so good. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I am struggling with uh, Report Extensions. I'm really, uh, it, it's, it's not easy. Um, and to all fairness, I think I'm actually not really struggling with Report Extensions. That's just the messenger, and we can always shoot the messenger. I think the real issue is that there are still too many reports in uh, in circulation um, and uh, from all over the place, basically, that have not been designed. Well, some of them we know from Microsoft has really not been redesigned for the last uh, couple of decades almost, but, but certainly has not been been designed with report extensions in mind. Um, and uh, that is actually at the point where quite often something that was supposed to be super simple uh, is no longer simple and requires us to do stupid things. Um, so let, let, me, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. Um, so here is a fresh, um, Press extension. So let let let's here's here's the task. Uh, let's I'll give myself a task. Add a new column to uh, to the the sales lines or the invoice lines on on the on one of the uh, the invoice reports. And and you know what? Uh, let me actually type here. So what you would do, you would create a report extension, my invoice, and we would extend. Um, and I'm going to extend the the sales invoice North America because that one is you know is nice with the with sales tax and so on. And uh, so, so yeah, sure, I want to do stuff in the data set. I want to add. Um, and where? Should I add some the data set anchor to which a the data set anchor to which a column should be added as a child too? Um, so sure, let's get some let's get some help here, and I want to add it to the to the sales line. Oh, excellent! Sales invoice line. That's that's our friend. So we go here, and then we uh, we add the. Uh, you know the sales invoice line dot uh, uh, well it really doesn't matter which one we add at this point um here here's the one this is this is never going to work and and the reason for this is that if we go hit us 12 on this one to go into uh into the layout we will quickly see that so we could add something to this one, and eventually we will figure out that it will never show up. Uh, because when we start looking at this, we can see that this data element on after get records, stuff happens and stuff happens. And then we basically built up a temporary table, temp sales invoice. So if we go and look where that is defined, that's a temporary table. So, so this data element is useless uh, because adding this, that there, there's no layout here. Uh, this one will uh, will just do. Uh, will just build up this this uh, temporary table. Okay, that's okay. Let's look at what what else we could do. So, so if this is not the one. Maybe there's another one. Ah, there's another one. Sales invoice line. But hang on. That one runs on an integer. So how do we add stuff here? Well, we can. Well, the only field that's an integer is basically number. So let's actually go up and look at this one again. Let's go up and look at this one again. And 
so sorting is number and we can see this one uses that temporary table but hang on so let's look after the columns uh, a simple look on after get record so now we're just using the int to uh, step through that temporary table but the temp sales header oops let's go here again no the 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 temp sales header is not a protected row so it will be available so there's no way we can get to this um so the only way if we want to do this with a uh, with a report extension would be to you know go ahead and and where where's let's see here let's do this the other way around so we go sales so we have to mimic oh hang on oh, there we have to mimic this structure to build up our own parallel uh, temporary uh, list um, or something weird so we need to create a mirror data structure in order for us to add an extra field to this report and um, I, I can see what what is going on here because you know the, this the, the temporary table that is built you know that will also contain uh, stuff if, if there's assembly lines and there's other other things so comments will also eventually create a uh, if, if there's a sales comment then that will get added as line so so there's more than just a sales line it's, it's a whole structure but it's not available so that temp sales line temp sales invoice line variable is not accessible from the report extension so the the only thing that makes sense if you suddenly okay i'm gonna add a column to this this report is that you end up doing what we did before report extension you make a copy of the report and then you work on that one which at that point it's super easy because the only thing we need to do is um, let's use this stupid way of navigating um, then you know we just go in and add a column and we can grab from the uh, from the temp sales and then we do everything but now we cannot do this because that one is not available for us available for us so so here is the Here's the, the, the wish, the, uh, the ask, the, 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 the right thing to do, that if you create a report, that any data source that is used in the column section should be available from a, from a report extension, either at the creation moment or at the consumption moment, basically both. Um, and, and, and one simple way to do this would be to declare wherever that my declaration might be, uh, right around here, I think. No, put this in the, in the protected uh, area so it will be available uh, on the extension object um, then we can get to it but I think some of these structures um, could be simplified uh, you could also instead of having that running on inch you're running uh, have it run on a uh, uh, on the same record and just move over or you use the, the, the temporary element. There's, there's a lot of different, different ways of doing this that will enable you to 
uh, have that exposed so it will enable people to extend the report without getting into all this weirdness anyway um that's my story and i stick to it uh i would love for all these reports to be simpler uh and and i have used the word simple a lot and and you know i have my 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 simple object designer and at this point i i kind of have a a list of of dirty dirty uh, data elements uh that data items that are simply not extendable um uh, and it's kind of weird for you know for end users who get into with with the simple object designer get into okay i just i need to add a field on 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 this report and so, and i have to tell them when a support request comes up and that report is not extendable uh I, there's nothing i can do and i don't want to start shipping copies of uh, others uh, people's reports one thing we could do uh is that now that that Microsoft is enabling us to uh, contribute source code to uh, to the base app. Potentially, we could we and I include you. you know, we could perhaps create a uh, some static analysis and go through and look at in all the places at at least for, at Microsoft where we have reports that uses these uh, these secret variables uh, and 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 change that, but. It's not only Microsoft, it's also other app vendors and, and so on. Uh, and especially with apps uh, and reports that have been around from before report extensions. Um, but they were just never designed for it. Um, but now now this is reality and uh, I, I, I get frustrated because I need to spend way more time on a, a task that should be super simple. Uh, and it turns out not to be. Um, so let this be a a, a call to arms. Let's let's see if we can uh, can can make all those reports that are not report extension friendly more report extension friendly. Um, and when we're done with that, how about another video uh, about AL hacking? Check this one out. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.